here, this is another piece of sapphire, which is optically much clearer, which is actually part of a pump. It is the piston of a pump that goes in and out. There's a motor here which pushes it in and out. And this is for a high pressure pump where you are using the sapphire because it is very tough, so it can press at very high pressures. It can be very smooth. And also, it does not expand and contract as much as metal so that you can get a very good seal on it. So even at high pressure, the liquid can't go past the seal. So in our experiments, you could have three different types of alumina at different plants. In the pump, you could have one of these. You could have the high pressure cell for photochemistry. And you can have the white alumina powder as a catalyst. And it could be heated up by the heater. And it could be heated up by an aluminum heater as well. At four. So, couldn't do our research without aluminium. Aluminium also forms interesting compounds, for example, with organic groups, so with carbon-aluminium bonds. And these are very susceptible to oxygen. And so the compounds are pyrophoric. They burst into flames if they're exposed to air. And so if you're using them, you have to be very careful. And if it goes wrong, you can get quite spectacular flames, or if you deliberately expose it to air. So one of my colleagues here, Professor Simon Woodward, has devised a way of taking one of these aluminium organic compounds and complexing it with a nitrogen compound so that it is not attacked by oxygen. And so it can be used in the lab without any special precautions. And this has really quite important implications for safer chemical processes. Apparently, the Emperor Napoleon's son was given an aluminium rattle to shake as a baby. It, probably not very good because it's an easy metal to chew, and perhaps he ingested some of the aluminium. There is some thought that aluminium could be one of the contributors to Alzheimer's disease because sometimes in the brains of Alzheimer's sufferers, or at least those who've died from Alzheimer's disease, there are raised levels of aluminium. And so this is one of the reasons that people have moved away from using aluminium cooking ware. But this is not something that will poison you instantly. So if you've just eaten food from an aluminium saucepan, don't get worried.